Let me see friends, molecular orbital picture of pyridine. As we have already discussed, the pyridine is a planar molecule which is a colorless liquid. All the atoms in pyridine are in the state of S2 state of hybridization and it is a nitrogen six member heterocyclic compound so therefore numbering always starts with the hetero atom like nitrogen it will be one two three four five and six so there are five carbon and one nitrogen as a head member isn't it pyridine now let me see it is a planar molecule as well as it exhibit the aromatic properties how it is now let me see the molecular orbital picture of pyridine. How it forms a pi bonding, pi molecular bonding, a molecular thing. Okay? Now let you see here carbon. There are five carbon. Now let you see the atomic number of carbon is six with the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. The fixing and reclassing of atomic orbital of same energy. You can see here all the orbitals are at the generate level. So the mixing and reclassing of this orbital results hybrid orbital. So how it is one of the electrons from this S orbital get promoted to this P orbital. Okay. P orbital. As a result of that, what we will get the three sp2 hybrid orbital. 3sp2 hybrid orbital. Isn't it? 3sp2 hybrid orbital and there is one unhybridized p orbital containing one electron. This is unhybridized p orbital is left with one electron. Now this 3sp2 hybrid orbital, see here, one of the electrons gets promoted to P. So therefore, as a result of that, we have got three sp2 hybrid orbital and one unhybridized p orbital left with the one electron. Now, this three sp2 hybrid orbital involved in formation of bonding with the adjacent hybrid orbital. How it is? This one of this is you know the carbon. One of the sp one of the sp2 hybrid orbital from here. Overlap with the S orbital of hydrogen atom to form a CH sigma bond. CH sigma bond. So the second sp2 hybrid orbital from here overlap with the sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon atom as a result of that formation of sigma bond. And a third sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon atom. Overlap with the sp2 hybrid orbital of this nitrogen atom as a result of that formation of sigma bond. So all the three sp2 hybrid orbitals are utilized for formation of sigma bonding. And there is one unhybridized p orbital is left with the one electron, so it is unhybridized p orbital containing one electron. So unhybridized p orbital. So now, let us see the nitrogen. Atom number of nitrogen is 7 with the electronic configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Now, one of the electron, one of the electron from S orbital get promoted to P orbital. As a result of that, there is a formation of what? Again, sp2 hybrid orbital. 3 sp2 hybrid orbital. Sp2 hybrid orbital. Now, QS and QPS they involve in formation of sigma bonding. How it is? And PY orbital with the lone pair of electron remain parallel with the plane of the ring. How it is? See, this is the nitrogen. One of the sp2 hybrid orbital overlap with the sp2 hybrid orbital of this carbon as a result of formation of sigma bonding. Now, the second one, sp2 orbital of nitrogen overlap with the sp2 orbital of this carbon as a result of that formation of sigma bonding. And now, this is the lone pair of electron or what we can say the uh, sp2 hybrid orbital contain a lone pair of electron, lone pair of electron which is parallel, parallel or in plane with respect to the 
Play on the wind. Now, again there is unhybridized p orbital is left. Unhybridized p orbital is left with the one electron. So this is unhybridized p orbital containing one electron. So now let you see here. Let you see here according to the table group. 4n plus 2 pi group, it exhibits aromatic sex state. How it is? This unhybridized p orbital of nitrogen containing one electron and unhybridized p orbital of each carbon containing one electron undergo delocalization or forms a pi bond bilateral overlapping of unhybridized p orbital. So there is a formation of what? Pi bond. The delocalization of electron above and below the plane of the ring. Delocalization results pi molecular orbital. Pi molecular orbital. And so therefore the lateral overlapping of this unhybridized p orbital of nitrogen carbon 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 results formation of pi molecular orbital of pi bonding you can say and thus the delocalization of the electron the unhybridized p orbital results formation of pi bond so unhybridized p orbital involving formation of pi bonding sp2 hybrid orbital involving formation of sigma bonding and the nitrogen is left with the lone pair of electron which is always available for protonation protonation so it readily abstract proton from acid and act as a good base. So therefore, due to the delocalization of electron on nitrogen, it act as a aromatic. Uh, due to the delocalization of electron above and below the plane of the ring, which results the formation of pi bond, and thus, according to According to the rule, that is 4n plus 2 pi electron rule, the value of n is 1, it is 4 into 1 plus 2 pi is equals to 6 electron, and therefore the 6 electron 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and thus it is aromatic in nature, and thus pi D is aromatic. Okay, so you have to keep in mind this due to the unhybridized p orbital on the lateral overlapping with the unhybridized p orbital of adjacent atom, there is a formation of pi only, and as a result of that, they go with the tail rule and thus pi is added.